Cheryl wants to know, how do you assess financial compatibility early on? He's definitely not in the same place as I am via retirement savings and assets, but it's hard to suss that out for uh, how far apart we really are. Well, I guess the question is, if let's just say you were worth five million and he was worth 100,000, is that a deal breaker for you? I'm just curious, you know, you have to kind of decide that. I'm a big believer two incomes are better, two, res two groups of resources are better and what? So if his net worth is substantially less to you, is that a deal breaker? Is If that's going to be a deal breaker, then before the penis ever goes inside the vagina, listen, folks, I talk about this book frequently, Eight Dates by Drs. John and Julie Gottman, chapter four. Chapter four, money, the cost of love, right there, money and work. Ask him how much he's worth. But Jonathan, that's so rude. Well, if his penis is getting any nearer your vagina, you're entitled to ask whatever questions you want. Uh, maybe take some time before you're physically intimate. But I guess the question is, is it a deal breaker for you? Now, if you were worth $5 million and he's worth a million, is that a deal breaker for you? I'm, I'm just trying to give you some context. Cheryl, you've got to decide what that is for yourself. Because if it's a deal breaker for you, then you may want to ask that question sooner rather than later. Actually, I think Marie and I, when we were in a relationship, we talked about money. I think we talked about it on our on our third meeting together, not our third date, but the third time she came to, the second time she came to visit. We were very open about where we were at. Grownups can have grown-up conversations. Children have, oh my God, I'm so afraid to ask a grown-up question. Look at, folks, we gotta stop playing small, okay? Is it okay? And by the way, read the chapter in the book so you can learn how to have this conversation. That's what I would do. I hope that helps, Cheryl. 